Hello everyone, in this quick tutorial I'm gonna show you how to create this really great matte black and white effect that you can see in here. So this is before and this is after. Alright fantastic, so let's get to it. Alright, so open your Adobe Photoshop and just drag the image that you want to use. So the first thing we'll do, we'll add a little bit of vignette to our picture. So there's a lot of way to do this, but I'm just gonna go with this way. So go and choose elliptical marker tool in here, and I will just drag an elliptical circle like so. And just cover your picture like so. And now we need like to feather our uh, circle selection in here. So we go to select, modify, and choose feather, or you know can just press Shift F6 in here. Alright, now uh, I'm just gonna put 200 pixel, but it depends on how big or big or small your picture is. You may need to put more pixel or you know less pixel. You know, just uh, experience with the pixels in here and press OK. Alright, now uh, I'm gonna invert the selection, so I press Ctrl Shift I, and as you can see, this will invert it. Now I need to add a little bit of shadow to our uh, edges in here, so we'll go and choose curves. And as you can see, this will create a layer mask to our uh, curves because we already made uh, our circle. Now I'll go, go and put one point in here and drag it so it will add shadow to our image. Alright, looks good. Now I'm gonna uh, make it to, uh, to a black and white. So uh, I'm gonna just gonna choose uh, a gradient map. So we'll go and choose gradient map in here. And I'm gonna change this color to a black to white uh, gradient. So just one click to it and choose this black to white color in here and press OK. Alright, now I'm gonna add a little bit of contrast to our uh, image. So we'll go and choose curves. And I'm just gonna add one point in here and another point in there. And I'll just put this one in here into the top a little bit. So we'll add a little bit of contrast, not that much. All right, looks good. All right, I like this. Now I'm gonna, uh, for the last step in here, I'm gonna add a selective color. So we'll go and choose the selective color in here. And I will go directly to the neutral. And I will add a little bit of black, so at plus 10%. Like so. And I will go directly to black in here. And I will put less black to it, so we'll make it minus 16 all right and i will go to white and i will put minus 25 in black in here all right and you're done so as you can see uh, this is before and this is after Alright, so I hope that you enjoy and you like this tutorial and it was a little bit helpful for you. Don't forget to subscribe and comment and you know what for more tutorials to come and have a nice day. Thank you for watching.